Smitty in the building. <laughs> All right, my bro. So you reached out to me through uh, one of the comments in, in the video, and uh, you wanted to chop it up with me. So go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the panel to you. What, what would you like what, what would you like to know, man? I mean, I know me and you is it is is this you me and you going back and forth as far as uh well I don't know. I'll I'll let you tell me. So what what what's our topic? What what are we about to talk about, bro? Uh well to be honest, uh I kinda I was looking into like leasing a truck and mm -hmm. I kinda I went down rabbit holes. And I was finding, like, I was finding your videos. Like, I saw uh, one of the videos on, like, well, like, pretty much talking to, like, the MGR recruiting. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, like, uh, pretty much just seeing red flags with companies and stuff like that. And I feel like watching one of your videos and stuff, it really kind of put it in perspective for me. Because I got to see it from a third party, uh, like, a third, a third person, like, a third person type of view. Mm -hmm. Um... Because if it was if it would have been me, probably talking to him, uh, probably talking to one of the recruiters or whatever, I probably wouldn't have got those like got the same questions off or or anything. So I guess like uh, my question to you though is like, have you ever leased from a company or third party lease? And you know, like basically, what do you? I don't know, like I. Like, I don't know, I guess just how are you, what do you, like, what do you prefer? Like, what 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 would you prefer? Like, leasing, financing, or third-party lease? All right. Third-party right. leasing being just going to an individual, you know, uh, dealership and just leasing. All right, I appreciate the question, man, and I appreciate the comment. I, I appreciate you uh, uh, watching the videos and everything. So, listen, I... I uh I never had no aspirations for leasing at all because when I did my research into all of that I I I just at, at first in the beginning I was I was sorely against leasing period like leasing from a from a company so say for example I work at uh US Express Maybe about four months, four months later, my fleet manager came to me and say, hey, lockout, um, we got something better for you. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, what's that? Well, if you lease from us, you can, you know, you can refuse at that time. The, the, the big catch for them was you can refuse your loads as a lease driver. Oh, really? So that mean I don't have to accept all the loads or anything like no 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 you're good you you know if you if we give you a load and you don't want it you you don't have to accept it as a lease driver oh okay okay and plus you make more money you you'll make more money as a lease driver oh really oh okay well I'm making like thirty thirty nine cent an hour right now. And, and, and you mean to tell me that I can bump it up to a dollar? Man, that's the, okay. Okay. Almost had me to sign on the dollar line until I started to do my research. And that's when everybody kept saying, no, no, no. You, number one, you don't want to, you don't want to move cheap freight. You know, you don't want to move cheap freight. That dollar a mile ain't ain't nothing compared to what you can actually do if you was to buy the truck yourself and be an owner operator, right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, I was like, okay, cool. So on that point, from that point on, I was like, yo, y'all don't do lease. Lease is garbage. Lease is this, that, and the third. But then I started talking to people that were successful with company leasing hey lockout you know I, I i lease on with prime about a dollar fifty a mile i'm making this type of money yada 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 this that and the third and i'm winning and i'm like well how's you winning bro like what 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 is the flavor what's the sauce that you got that everybody else is missing well you know we could do it this way that way and yada 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 but see here's the kicker it was the key point for me 
yo, I'm only in this just to chase the bag, just to run up my money so I can buy my own truck. And I was looking at it that way. I was like, oh, okay, so, okay, so get in, get your money, save it up, stack it up, and then move on. I got you. And then that's when I was, that's when I changed my mind. And I, that's when I changed. I was like, okay, y'all, everybody, yo, if you're doing leasing, I'm not going to go against the grain. I'm not going to go against you. Just go in, get your money, and stack it. Because, see, when you lease on with any company, that's it. That 1099 is it. That's that's it. That's all you get. You get you just get paid. You don't get no benefits, no 401k, no you, you do your own taxes, you're responsible. Everything you're responsible for, 1099. Now, some places you have to look through with a micro I mean mic uh what, what do you call that? A mic mic. You you got to look through it uh what what you call them uh magnifying glass. Yep. You know, okay. you gotta look. You you gotta look at it with a magnifying glass. Now, some companies that's offering ten ninety nine lease, they call it lease purchase. You have to pay for the truck. How much is the truck, sir? Oh, the truck can range anywhere from from three hundred to a thousand, depending on which truck you get. So you gotta realize that they're gonna take the money out for the uh paperwork. They're gonna take the money out for the fees. They're gonna take the money out for the fuel. You know, you might get a fuel surcharge, you know, you might get that. But still, you know, they're going to take the money out for uh for the truck. Now, another side of the 1099 is 1099 company driver. You don't have to pay nothing for the truck, but you might have to put in for an escrow. You know, they probably might take out that that twenty five hundred, that three thousand dollars. So if anything goes wrong with that truck, they're going to take it out of that money and then pay you later. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you gotta look into when you deciding on leasing. Not just don't just go by what I say because you know, hey, I, I'm just a company driver. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let some people tell it. But I, I can only tell you, I, I can only tell you from the experience, from the conversations that I have with people that actually failed at it. And people that actually been successful with it. Now, the end goal with with leasing, period, is to get into it. It's a stepping stone to owner operations. Period. If if you want to go into leasing, then your end goal is to owner operations. Or or if you're going to lease and just to chase the bag for something else, you know, you know, just to, you know, chase the bag and start up something else. That's cool, too. But if it happens to do deal with trucking, then owner operations. Now, a couple of successful guys that has started leasing. I'm going to I'm going to throw names out there. Low Shine Parts. OK, you know, he started with leasing. Now he owns Parts Motor Group. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't get there. He didn't get the parts motor group. He started with leasing. Get the idea how to run a truck. How to do the business side of trucking. Then he just took the money that he saved, brought him a couple of trucks, and took the knowledge that he had and built parts motor group. You know, that's 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 the end. That's I think that's the end all be all in your decision as far as going leasing. Now, here's here's the caveat today. You got to figure out which company to go with. And there's a lot of companies out there that's that's either going to screw you or going to help you. You just got to you, you just got to waddle through the one. Yeah. Uh, I, you, uh, you hear me? Uh, talk, put, put the mic up against your, put the mic down a little bit so I can hear you a little clear. Cause I, I, it, uh, it sounds like you're going through water right now. 
man, these Apple there, headphones, man, they don't make them like they used to. I there swear. you go. There you go. I can hear you much clearer. So go ahead. Man. <clears throat> like, yeah, now that's one of the things I was kind of, I was kind of looking at, I was kind of looking into. Like, I kind of realized, so if you go into leasing, uh, pretty much through a lot of companies, like, a lot of uh, a lot of them, they have like a lot of those contracts are like never, never contracts. Basically, meaning like you, uh, so you, you're never gonna own that truck. They, and they'll tell but you, I, they'll, I, they'll tell you right up front. You know, if you pull out a lease, uh, a lease for like three years, four years, they're gonna tell you that. Yeah, if you want to own that truck, then you have to turn around and get financing out side financing to finish off the truck. So, that is true. So uh, if now if you had aspirations of doing it that way, then I guess I, I, I guess is my my guess to you is lease lease for maybe a year, you know, so you can learn the business aspect. Make sure you learn how to save your money. Make sure how, you know what what type of freight, what type of freight is worth, and all that good stuff. And then after that, go to an actual truck, uh, truck, uh, you know, truck retail, and do a proper lease finance through them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking, I was looking through that, I was looking through that, uh, like, basically, like, the best companies for that, where, like, pretty much, like, they do, it does run your credit, so mm -hmm. it's, like, um, basically, like, the company, what, what I can, my research pretty much told me, like, the company leasing programs, those are pretty much for people with just bad credit. Period. Like, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. And if you got good credit, then why do that go to a third party company? Like they got uh some companies where like basically you just you just have to scrape together or have a put the down payment down. Rush me off of home, and then like you're just literally just financing a truck. Like you can get a truck for like seventy thousand. Time just for me to and you're basically just paying towards that. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly, and that's exactly what some of these companies are looking forward to. They, they looking to take advantage of people that don't have the good credit. That's why they always start off. Hey, we have a leasing program. No money down. No, no money down. They don't take a look at your credit, and it's a walk away lease. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, okay. Bring me in, and then all of a sudden they get you in the lease. And then they don't do nothing for you to be successful with the lease. You'll be sitting up there like, bro, uh, can I, can I, am I going to get a load? Am I going to get a load? Well, you know what? You know what, Lockout? You you refuse maybe about three, four loads, man. So we're, we're, we're just going to, we're, we're just sitting here looking for a load that you like. And 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 all that's going to do is run up your uh run up your your bill every week. You're going to start getting at first. You're going to get three thousand miles. You're going to get three thousand miles. Then all of a sudden you're going to get twenty five hundred miles. And then all of a sudden you're going to get like two uh, two thousand miles. Like like bro, how am I going to take care? Of, how am I going to keep up with this truck payment? And and have you know and have money for myself if y'all not giving me the miles. So what I have learned is uh from from people that I have talked to, if you're gonna do lease, do not do lease for miles. Do it percentage. Percentage. Get a percentage of the load if you're gonna lease. Because at least with percentage of the load. You can do maybe one, two, three. You could probably do three loads done, make money, have some money left over after you pay all your, after you pay everything else. With percentage. With miles, it's, it's up and down. It's up and down. One week, one week you'll get 3,000 and then they'll take out 15, 1,600. Next week, you'll get 2,000 and then they're going to take out 15, 1,600, leaves you with four. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm going with that? 
I think, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 get, I get what you're saying. I think, like, because, like, it, it's like this. I got I got an experience. I don't have uh, the amount of years you have in trucking, but I got, like, I'm going on my second year right now. I'm at, like, a year and eight months. Mm-hmm. So, like, and I've met a variety of people so far, like, uh, like, a lot of people that, like, okay, they do the company leasing, and, and they might have success, but, there, a lot of their success is, I feel like, uh, it comes out of I know ignorance I just or laugh, maybe them but, uh, not being as detailed oriented. Like, because, mm-hmm. like, you see all the stuff, like, like, I tried a leasing program uh, at, uh, at Stevens Transport. Mm-hmm. And basically, like, within the first month, I took the truck back because it was so monopolized. Like, it was like, it, it was like, I was seeing money just getting taken out from everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, man, this is not really something that I really want to deal with. Exactly. This is something you don't want to deal with because you're not, you, you're not making no money. You're not making no money. That's why I said when it comes to, when it comes to leasing, you know, not all leasing is bad. You know what I'm saying? There is some good ones out there, but but overall, you 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 got to look at it. You you got to look at it. Uh, see how much you you, you got to start with a goal. All right, you got to put a goal together. You got to put. You got to make you your end goal is what you want when you start to decide to do leasing. I guess I guess that would probably be the best way that I can probably say it. I get you. I get you. Like I definitely think I I, I agree with that. Like as far as whatever leasing program or whatever you want to do, you have to have a plan. Mm-hmm. And uh, I feel like contrary to what everybody says, like oh, you don't really need uh, you know, any capital to start lease. And I think it's good to come in with capital, mm-hmm. uh, depending on whatever situation. Because you can run like a maniac. Like let's say that like they do give you they do give you the um the miles and whatever. Like I don't know, I feel like just having a capital it just gives you a little bit of leeway for you to not have to or you can still run like a maniac and make and see more of your money, you know what I mean? Mhm. Exactly. I don't know. Well, I mean it's it's a lot. It 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 it's a lot uh Smitty. It's a lot uh continue to um you know, continue to do your research, man. I, I hope I was able to give you a little bit of help. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, nah, I... Nah, you definitely... You... Oh, go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah, nah, my bad for interrupting you. But, uh, yeah, nah, man, like, I got a, I got a bunch of gratitude for you, man, because, like, uh, yeah, man, just watching your video, uh, like, it pretty much, it just, it kind of opened my eyes. And it's like, you, I feel like with the skin you got in the game, like, you're able to see through, like, you know, like, okay, for one, like, when they talk about, oh, we're going to get you 3,000 miles a week. You know that's not possible. It's, like, you know, like, gonna, you got the, gonna happen all you know, the time. you just, like, I feel like you just, you've been around the block a few times, man. Yeah, that's not going like, to happen all the time. You, you're not, they, yeah, they, like, I don't know. If they prom, if, if, if they turn around and say, oh, we, we could promise you this, that, and the third, it's, it's not going to happen all the time. Yeah, and like I mean, it's like that. I feel like that. Uh, the MGR video, it really like it. It taught me. It taught me something. I took a lot from that video. Exactly. All right, my bro. Well, hey, again, man, I appreciate you reaching out to me, man, and uh, and um, and uh, and watch, you know, watching and listening and everything like that, man. Thank you very much for uh, the conversation and all like that, man. I know you're a little bit busy. Um. Again, if it's if this is what you want to get into, man, go ahead and go ahead and get into it. Just make sure you put a goal together. Just make sure you learn the business side of trucking. And and on that note, man, just uh, you know, just be great at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a great day to have a great day. Yes, sir. Hey, you stay safe out there, my bro, and we'll talk again soon. Yes, sir, brother. All right, now. All right.